What is going on guys? Welcome to the Jaff Man. I'm your host Jaff. Today's video is all about minor tweaks and tips to really enhance the user experience of your Galaxy Note 10 as well as other Android devices. First thing I like to do always is unlock developer options, this option here, which gives you a ton of features and tweaks. To do this, go to about phone, go to build number and tap it a bunch of times until it says developer options, developer options have been unlocked. Once you're in here, there's too many features to go over in this three minute video. It probably deserves its own video, but some of the useful settings I really want to go over with you guys that can really help enhance your user experience. So the first thing is first, we're going to turn on mobile data is always active. This ensures that when you're switching between Wi-Fi and mobile data, there is no loss of connection at any time. Secondly, we're going to go into Bluetooth codecs and choose select all of them. Thirdly, to really speed up the zippiness and how your phone feels, especially on One UI, which is a Samsung skin over stock Android, I like to turn animation scales off. I mean, none of these are really amazing, but with them off, the phone just feels super zippy. Now there is this feature here about background check and I like to turn everything to do with Bixby off because I never use it and I'd rather have it off. You can also limit background processes, but I haven't really messed around with that. Now one great thing Samsung really listened to is allowing the users to customize their side key. And now you can finally disable Bixby. Well, we don't have a Bixby button anyways, although I preferred that Bixby button. You can assign it to any app on a double breast. I like to leave it on quick launch camera, press and hold for power options instead of going through the software. Now, another thing that you might want to do is enable night mode. You see, with night mode, or especially on AMOLED displays, the pixels turn off because everything that you see in white right now would be black and that always goes towards saving strain on your eyes and saving battery power. And I just find it less jarring, especially at nighttime, and I'm kind of used to using it like this 24 seven, since this feature has been available anyways. Now, whilst we're talking of night mode, you can also do this on YouTube. Go into YouTube, go to um, your account, go to general, and then you can see there's an option for a dark mode. Again, darker colors on AMOLED displays use less battery. Finally, mash that subscribe button, give me a like, talk to me in the comments below, and I will catch you all in the next one.